Oh, I just hit myself with I love this book. I love this book. And I have a dog again. I could like cry. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have seen this book literally everywhere for the longest time. And I finally got it. And also floppy we love a floppy paperback hello it is update time for this wonderful magnificent literary masterpiece that i'm currently reading um i'm on chapter six and i love this book oh it just i am literally like a quarter of the way through and this book owns my my heart my body my soul everything i just love it um yeah so it's gonna be some spoilers if you don't want spoilers then click away um but they so alex and henry have had their first kiss which was wonderful and i loved it and gave me all the feelings um and then henry just runs away he just leaves and now he's just completely ghosting Alex and Alex is very confused and he's trying he's coming to terms with his um, feelings and his sexuality and I like to I like reading about that because I don't know it's nice to see that process of him you know um, talking things through with his friend Nora who side note the side characters love 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 all of them they're all great there's not a single character that I do not like so far which for me is a wonderful thing because there's always somebody <laughs> that I don't gel with but mm, so far so good hi hello still reading <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I just... Every scene where Alex and Henry are together... I just... I just love it so much. My favourite thing is, um, every time, whenever they have, um like an email or text kind of conversation or on the phone it just makes my heart burst with joy I just love them so much I just want nothing but happiness for them so that's where I'm at right now <laughs> Yeah, I'm like midway through a chapter right now because the chapter is really long is something I've noticed which is n I'm not complaining about that it's not a problem for me just something I've noticed um and right now they've just had a conversation um on the phone and it's kind of the first time Henry has talked about his family and his you know problems I guess which was nice it's nice to see him open up a little bit with Alex which I love it just oh they had their little like there was a bit the chapter that I'm on now we like opened with them in France and it was so romantic and adorable and oh I just like I could cry just because of how adorable and how much I love it is it's just yeah I don't have a bad word to say honestly like this vlog might be really boring because it's just me going I love this book I love this book but like I love the book <laughs> update time. I'm just over halfway as you can see 
and I still love it. Of course, obviously, like I told you, that's all this vlog is gonna be. It's just me gushing about how much I love this book. Um, what I wanted to talk about right now is the part I'm currently on. I'm en I'm enjoying it a lot more than I would have previously thought I would because I know nothing pretty much about American politics and right now it's very like much involved with the re-election campaign and drama <laughs> happening around that and I never would have thought that that would be something I would be interested in or entertained by and I am which is obviously a good thing and yeah I just it's, it's just I just love the writing, it keeps me entertained on every single page. I'm so hooked. <laughs> it, um, yeah, like I said, I, it's like half nine now and I will probably have finished this by tomorrow afternoon. Please ignore the hair situation going on. <laughs> um, it's a Sunday. I have just been lying down all day reading this book, <laughs> so just ignore that whole situation. Um, I just wanted to say that the emails in this book melt my heart and soul. I just read one that Henry writes and he writes this paragraph. I just like have never read anything that has made me feel things like this as oh I could like cry. <laughs> so embarrassing it's literally just a paragraph and it is just if you're ready you know the one i would read it out but i do not have a reading out loud voice but it is oh. it's just perfect oh. first of all i am sad i might cry i've been reading this book for so many hours and I have felt nothing but joy and happiness and love and now I am officially heartbroken. I am so sad. <laughs> I genuinely had like tears in my eyes and so nearly cried and I just feel like that's not going to be the last time that happens. I'm scared. But spoilers. Um, so Henry and Alex were in Texas at Alex's dad's little house and Alex was about to tell Henry that he loved him and it was all wonderful and cute and then Henry just left and he left a little note and now he's He's ghosting Alex again. <laughs> I'm so sad. It's day two of reading my new favourite book in the entire world. And I am going to finish this very soon. Um, yeah. I'm so excited, bro. Oh, it's so little left. So, there's just been a leak of photos of Alex and Henry together, and also the emails. Oh. I'm gonna make a guess. Is Zara engaged to Sean. This is a complete like subplot that like doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things but I'm invested and I want to know who she's in a relationship with and she's just said she has his personal line and he like answers straight away and I'm just saying 
That's my guess. My conspiracy hat is on. <laughs> but it after like 30 seconds. I was right. Henry and Alex have just decided that they're gonna tell the truth and. Mm. I'm so happy. I hope it all works out. Oh god. Mm. I would just like to document that. I hate Philip. I've just got so angry reading this last bit where he like storms in and starts calling Henry a coward and all this nonsense. I've I'm just like seething. <laughs> oh, finished. I am emotional and. <coughs> I love this book. Hi! Hello! Welcome back. Um, I'm just gonna do my final wrap up of this book, which, as we have established and I have made abundantly clear, I love. I love this book, as I've said a billion times in this video. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what it was that I loved so much and I think the main strength of this book really is the characters and their interactions with each other. I thought each and every character in this book was impeccably written and so each of them have their own depth and just they all have a purpose in the story and they're all, you know, there's nobody that A, I didn't like and also just maybe we could have done without. I thought everyone was necessary and everyone was perfect. Um, the friendships between them, are, when they all come together, you have Alex's friends, you have Henry's friends and they're all together and just, like, just wonderful. It's so nice to read. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. Um, obviously, the romance in this book, ah, uh, melted my heart instantly. Um, yeah, there was so many times that I was just swooning and I cried a few times. Um, particularly the emails were just my favourite part possibly of the entire book. Every time I got to an email section I was like, yeah, finally, again, because some of the things that they say to each other and write to each other and Henry's writing, oh, I, again, I did cry a couple of times. Oh well, um, yeah, it was so good. And also something I wanted to mention was how funny this book is so many points were so funny and had me just laughing and Alex in particular some of the things that he comes out with are hilarious and he just brings out this side in Henry that is just amazing to read wonderful honestly yeah uh plot wise um I was going into this I was kind of worried that the political plot side of things would not be my favourite and I might not be into that because I'm not a very political person at the best of times. Um, American politics in particular I really know nothing about so I wasn't really sure how that was going to go for me but I ended up loving it. I thought it was, it added even more to Alex's character seeing him go through this um, re-election campaign and, uh, and I have a dog again. Anyway, um, so yeah, the political side of things, even that I really enjoyed and thought was ed thoroughly entertaining and just, yeah, it was, I really enjoyed it a lot more than I would have thought that I would. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Um, yeah, so honestly, this was such a page turner for me. Like, I am not, a, I'm not a particularly slow reader, but I'm definitely not a fast reader. And I finished this entire thing in less than 24 hours 
with no issue whatsoever. I could have read it even faster, but I had to go to bed and I was like really struggling with that <laughs> because I just wanted to just do nothing but read this. It was I I very rarely, if ever, finish a book in twenty four hours and this I it just ha kind of happened, honestly. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't mind. It's not as if I'm not gonna reread it a bunch of times anyway. Um <laughs> If you haven't read this book, I highly, highly recommend you pick it up because I really don't think you'll regret it. It is just a big ball of happiness and joy and yeah, it, it can only add goodness to your life, I feel, in my experience. Um, if you have read it, uh, please let me know and talk to me about it because I would love nothing more than to gush all day, every day, about how much I love this book. So, you know, hit me up and talk to me about it because I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings. I love this book. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, I've never done a vlog or anything like this before and I really, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, yeah, uh, if you'd like me to do it again, let me know because like I said, it was a lot of fun, and yeah, so thank you, and bye!